Today we are in the Model X and we're headed over to Phil's, my friend, located about eight miles away. We'll be hauling the trailer today. He needs some help cleaning out the attic in his garage and I'm 6'6 and I'm here to help. So let's get on the road. I usually keep the trailer in the garage since I've got a little bit of room here and then I just drag it and hook it up. So it's pretty light, this trailer. I just uh, pick it up and pick it up here with one hand. It's not heavy. And uh, I'll go ahead and close on it over the wall. Just like that. And then we're good. Let's put some chains on here. So you've seen this before. You want to make sure you've crank the top there and bring the foot all the way up. And then uh, down here is where we hook up safety chains and the electrical. All right, so generally I crisscross the chains. This one is hooked up here. You've seen that before. So this is the safety hook. And you get a little retainer here, this uh, here. And uh, generally I just push it on the side here. I do this with one hand because I got the phone in the other. And uh, you just hook it here and then hook it down and we're good, right? And then the uh, trailer is here, standard seven pin trailer plug. I'll hold it with my left hand holding the phone. So I need to have a filming assistant. Okay, there he goes. So then just push it in. Retainer is the uh, little cap. And we're good to go. Make sure we're dressed up. Make sure our chains are crossed here. And we're all hooked up. And we're good to go. Make sure you're locked here. And that's your foot's cranked up. And there it is. We're ready to tow. Got to do a quick check of tires. Make sure the gate's on. Make sure your tires are good. And I think we're ready to tow. And I usually make sure that the car thinks the trailer's connected by the little blue trailer. So I think we're good. I'm on the way to Phil's now with the Model X pulling the trailer. It's a 12 by six and a half foot trailer. I usually use it to haul stuff around here, around town and messing around. I've got a, a Ford F-250 diesel truck, but in this little jaunt right now, it's gonna cost me three to four gallons of fuel. And that's uh, upward of 12 to $16. I uh, don't really want to spend that much uh, unless I had to, but I get free charge with the solar on the roof. It charges the Model X and the trailer I own, so it didn't cost anything. And it's just as easy hauling this as it is the truck. The only difference is I'm not wasting $16 in fuel uh, going across town to uh, drag around some stuff. One of the cool things with the Model X is that you can look at the rear view camera uh, used for backup and just directly out of the back of the car. You can see how your load is uh, full time. Unlike some cars, this one allows you to actually leave it on for as long as you want. You can use it for a backup uh, mirror if you really wanted to, uh, whatever floats your boat. This is Highway 9 here.
One of the cool things, of course, with the Model X is your tow vehicle. You do still have one pedal driving. So I can let my foot off the accelerator and uh, we decelerate, even though we're hauling a trailer. Really helps out. Yeah, so this is my buddy Phil. Say hi, Phil. Hi. Yeah, we're cleaning out his attic of antenna pieces. Holy mackerel. Years, years and years and years of uh, antennas here. I hit two or three of these, though. Yeah, what's that? Oh, that's a, a vertical. Yeah, I had that for 80 and 160. Or 80, yeah, 40 and 80. 40 and 80 vertical. I remember that. Who made that? Don't tell me. HF6V uh, uh, high gain? Uh, Is it high gain? It was one of the two. Butternut. Butternut? Something like that. Jeez, Phil. You're a repository for everything that radiates RF here. Well, we're only about halfway there. I know. I can see. This is kind of half-assed together. Yeah. Set of traps or something. What's it say? Uh, TA reflector traps. Oh, yeah, Mosley TA 33 or something. Uh, well, I better put this camera down because Phil's going to keep handing me stuff here. Thank you. Yeah, holy mackerel. Look at this. Only a part of it. Every kind of antenna piece or part ready to go here. All right, let's put it in. Oh, yeah, look at this. More traps and aluminum, stingers, you name it. All right, let's put it in. Well, you wouldn't believe it. Look at all these antenna parts. Phil's been collecting this stuff for a long time. Now he's talked me into storing it for him. So I've got all kinds of pieces and parts for someone building antennas. I'm going to go around the house now and even load up more. We are loaded with all the stuff up here. Got a couple more tower sections. We're going to head down uh, to a storage place down here on the property now and load up. This uh, view here in the Model X is kind of cool. You get side view and uh, the rear view. It's kind of cool. We are loaded. Phil's loaded this baby up here got some tower sections all kinds of antenna pieces a lot of different rotatable antennas some verticals i think we're good yeah we got one for we're down here in the field getting the last remaining bunch here there you go you even have a, a light post thingamabob Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we'll just put a light on the back of the trailer. What do you think? Cool. Well, I would... I would thank you, Phil. <laughs> but I'm not sure what I got myself into here. Well, I'm thanking you so we can have a place to... Well, that's good. Well, I'll... Uh... I'll put it on a rack or something and uh, it'll be available. All right. I have a trailer of absolutely every kind of antenna part or piece. It's all older stuff, but it's okay. Got some uh, tower sections. Phil uh, needs to get this stuff out of the way and I've got a little space where I live, so. I'll add it to my stack of antenna pieces at my house in the effort and hopes that somebody will need to build some antennas and need some parts. We'll set them up. Heading home now with a trailer full of aluminum. I'm out in Highway 9 now, headed home. There you have it, a Model X pulling all this crap. Yeah, I gotta store it now.
but it'll be in the back in case it's needed for any kind of projects. So there you have it, a Tesla Model X being able to pull whatever kind of trailer you want. Yeah, I think I'll store the antennas and all this stuff I got from Phil back here. It's my antenna repository where I keep all the spare antennas and aluminum. So we'll go ahead and leave the trailer here and tomorrow I'll get it all moved and stacked up. Well, there you have it. Back here at the house, 124 miles of range. We started with 155. Phil's house about eight miles one direction. And so it's 16 miles plus hauling all the junk here and running the cabin overheat and that kind of stuff. Used uh, not much power, as you can see, maybe uh, 31 miles, maybe. So it was fine. I hauled all that junk home and put it out back, and I've got to go sort it and stuff tomorrow. But I chose to use the Model X instead of my Ford F-250 diesel and burn up three gallons or more of fuel just to haul a bunch of junk. The Model X hauls very well. It tows the trailer without even knowing it's back there. It's a really great tow vehicle. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like, hit subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to not miss anything going forward. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link shown at the bottom of the screen gets you 1,000 miles or 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging. And that code is good worldwide. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.